Hi everyone. In this video, I am trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. So I have published four applications. These applications are published on the same server. When I'm trying to launch Windows PowerShell, it gives an it gives an error message. It says cannot start app Windows PowerShell, but when I try to launch other applications, applications that are hosted on the same server, Okay, it gives the same error message, cannot start app notepad. This is interesting. Let me click OK. Let me try to open MS Paint. All these applications are hosted on the same server. So let's see the behavior of all these applications. Okay, this is trying to launch. Let's see. Let's see what is going to happen. Okay. It is trying to launch. All right, it launched successfully without any issues. Let's close this. Let's try to launch Notepad again and see how it goes. A minute ago, it was giving error message for whatever reason. So I'm trying to launch again and see how it goes. Okay, this time it is saying open Citrix receiver launcher. I'm trying to launch this application now. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this time it seems like launching. Okay, it launched. It launched fine. Let me close this. Now let's go back to Windows PowerShell and try to launch it. It's trying to connect. Okay, it still throws the same error message like before. Cannot start app Windows PowerShell. Let me click OK. What about this sound sound recorder? Let's see how it goes. All are all these applications are coming from the same server. So let's test sound recorder as well. Okay, seems like it is doing something. Okay, it's trying to launch. Okay, it's launching. Okay, let's click OK. Okay, this launched fine without any issues. Okay, we, we have issues only with Windows PowerShell application. It is not launching. So let's check check a couple of things it's always good to check the status of this application on the server whether it is launching or not before that okay let's see okay it throws the same error message let's click okay uh, let's let's log off once Okay, now let's do one thing. Let's go back to Studio Console and let's check the status of the applications here. So when I click on applications, I see a list of applications here. Okay, so these are the applications published. So if you see command prompt here, it's in enable state. MS Paint is it's an enabled state sound recorder it is enabled state if you see Windows PowerShell here for some reason it is in disabled state okay so it's in disabled state maybe that's the reason why we we were not able to launch this application let's do one thing let's right click on it let's click enable
okay if you see now the application is in enabled state now let's quickly go back to uh, let's quickly go back and log in and see how it goes okay okay let's check the applications if you see now I, I, I see Windows PowerShell here now let's try to launch the application and see how it goes okay I'll click open Citrix receiver launcher okay seems like it is launching let's see all right it launched fine okay so what could be the problem why uh, this issue has happened so sometimes uh, you know whenever there is a request from the business if somebody wanted uh, us to disable an application for whatever reason administrators would disable the application but uh, at any point in time if some user comes back and asks okay uh, you know why I'm not able to launch this application then after troubleshooting we come to find out that uh, this application has been disabled for whatever reason so yeah this this happens uh, often in the environment you know sometimes uh, when there is a request when there is a change request to disable some applications that we would disable it but some users come back and say why we are not, not able to launch the application for whatever reason so yeah this is the cause of the issue I hope you find this uh, information helpful. Thank you for watching.